Right now at noon, a former Sauk Prairie police officer returns to court. We take a look at the case and how he's pleading. Plus, Israel strikes back at Iran with a missile strike. How the U.S. and Iran are reacting to the attack. This is News 3 Now at Noon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shane Hogan. We begin with continuing coverage from this morning's breaking news. Right now, police in Janesville are conducting a homicide investigation from what happened earlier on Peace Trail. The public is not at risk, but is being asked to avoid the trail while police continue working. Janesville police say they cannot tell us much right now, but they'll have an official press release coming up at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Until then, we will keep getting updates for you to keep you informed when you can drive back in the area of Peace Trail. Again, police say there is no danger to the public, but that you should still avoid this area. A former Sauk Prairie police officer will return to court for a sentencing hearing. Joel Ludowitz is charged with attempting to cover up a car crash involving his own car. The charge stems from an incident on December 30th, 2022. Ludowitz's car ended up totaled at the bottom of a 30-foot embankment on the Great Sauk State Trail without a driver. The morning after the crash, Ludowitz reported his car stolen. When someone called police reporting they had found the car, Ludowitz was one of the first officers to arrive on scene. The sheriff's office investigated and found that Ludowitz's dash cam footage showed him removing things from his car and wiping off blood. In January of last year, Ludowitz resigned. He was formally charged with obstructing the investigation in July. Ludowitz's accounts of the night of the crash vary, but one witness told police they were with him earlier that night and that Ludowitz had been drinking. He has pleaded not guilty to that charge. He'll be in court for a sentencing hearing at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Well, cooler weather happening this weekend. Kelly Slipka's outside to tell us all about it. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, well, we do at least have the uh, sun uh, for now out here on the uh, patio, but we have to really contend with quite a bit of wind. Uh, we've seen some of these wind gusts over 35 miles per hour. These are the sustained winds. Uh, 18 mile per hour winds here in Madison, 25 in Janesville. So it is a windy noon hour and these winds will continue through the rest of the afternoon. We do have sunshine for now, but I am expecting some clouds to roll on in. You see these clouds on our visible satellite up to the north rotating to the south. So expecting those to uh, creep into southern Wisconsin as we go over the next few hours. So we will see a little bit more cloud cover as the afternoon wears on. And a freeze is possible tonight. The skies uh, clear out. Uh, we're expecting these temperatures to drop very close to freezing. And again, maybe even tomorrow night. And we may not even hit 50 tomorrow. So it is going to be a cool start to our weekend. It will get a little bit warmer, a little bit closer to average as we go into our Sunday. Right now, it's uh, 48 in Madison, 49 in Middleton. So, yeah, it's uh, running a little bit cooler than we should be for this time of the year. And we'll watch these temperatures slowly climb into the lower 50s. May only be in the upper 40s areas to, to the north where those clouds move in a little bit sooner. Maybe the mid 50s down toward uh, Janesville. Uh, if you are headed out this evening, it's going to cool off quickly. We'll be in the uh, 30s after 10 o'clock uh, tonight. Otherwise, we are calling for temperatures close to freezing tomorrow morning, so it's uh, going to be a cold start to the day. Uh, 48 right now with that northwest wind at 18. A windy afternoon, blowing things around a little bit. Quiet weather this weekend. We are tracking some showers next week. We'll have more coming up in about 15 minutes. All right, sounds good. We'll talk to you then, Kelly. Thank you. The man accused of sexually assaulting a UW-Madison student will be in court. This will be 26-year-old Brandon Thompson's final court appearance before a trial. Prosecutors say Thompson carried out one of the most horrific sexual assaults in recent memory in Dane County. Thompson has pleaded not guilty to three charges of first degree sexual assault, first degree reckless injury and strangulation and suffocation. Investigators say Thompson beat and sexually assaulted a woman back on September 3rd. Police found her without clothes covered in blood near Wilson and Bedford downtown at about three in the morning. She was taken to the hospital with life threatening injuries and placed into a coma. Upon his arrest, officers say Thompson admitted to beating the woman, but didn't know whether he sexually assaulted her. He's been in the Dane County Jail since on a $1 million cash bond. The victim is still recovering from this attack. Right now, you can help her and her family pay for those recovery efforts. The Sexual Violence Resource Center has a GoFundMe set up. You can find that link to the story on channel3000.com. We also want to take this time to provide resources for anyone who has experienced sexual violence. The RCC Sexual Violence Resource Center in Madison has a 24-hour hotline. That number is 608-251-7273. The National Sexual Assault Hotline is also on your screen. If you're looking to get help anonymously without talking on the phone, you can do so by texting HOME to the crisis line at 741-741. 
In national and international news, now out of the Middle East, the Biden administration says it is working towards de-escalation following Israel's overnight attack on Iran. Today's strike, which appeared limited in scope, was in retaliation for Iran's unprecedented drone and missile strike against Israel last weekend. Natalie Brand has more. Less than 24 hours after U.S. officials say an Israeli missile struck Iran, Secretary of State Antony Blinken wouldn't comment on reports the White House was given advance notice, but made clear the U.S. was not part of it. The United States has not been involved in any offensive operations. The United States, along with our partners, will continue to work for de-escalation. The early morning hit was in an area where Iran has several nuclear sites, but the UN's top atomic energy body said there was no damage to the nuclear facility. Did not hit a nuclear facility. The counterstrike was actually about targeting uh, an area near it so we can send a message indicating that we will retaliate and we will do next time possibly the actual facility, but this time we're not. The strike came less than a week after Iran's unprecedented retaliatory drone and missile attack on Israel, the country's first direct assault on Israel from its own territory. National security and foreign policy expert Asha Castleberry Hernandez says Israel's strike sends a message it's able to penetrate Iran's airspace. Your response showed no international support with regards to intercepting the uh, actual uh, counterstrike like what you saw uh, in Israel, where you've had the United Kingdom, United States, uh, even Jordan and Saudi pro uh, providing support to the Israeli security forces. Iran has been downplaying Israel's attack with no damage reported. Many intelligence experts believe the limited scope of the strike will allow Iran to walk away from further escalation. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. This latest attack comes as tension in the Middle East remain dangerously high with Israel fighting the war in Gaza and Iranian-backed militias remaining in Lebanon. Still ahead this morning, excuse me, this afternoon, Starbucks is taking new steps towards sustainability. Plus, Google fires more than two dozen of its employees following protests. That's coming up next in the Money Watch Report. Get an 11% rebate on everything now at Menards. Come check out our new selection of ceiling fans. Find your style and add elegance to any room with Patriot Lighting. Get the Eastley ceiling fan for $79.99 after rebate. Ceiling fans help you save on energy costs year-round while making your space cool and more comfortable. Right now, this Hunter low-profile ceiling fan is $79.99 after 11% rebate at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Get your best night's sleep on a new mattress from Steinhoffel's. Queen Tempur-Pedic mattresses start at only $52 per month with Steinhoffel's 60-month financing. Plus, get $300 in Steinhoffel's cash. Upgrade your sleep with the Tempur-Pedic Ergo Smart Base powered by Sleep Tracker AI. This base automatically responds to snoring by raising your head, giving you a better, more restful night's sleep. Get the Ergo Smart Base and mattress for just $94 per month. Shop in-store or online at steinhoffel's.com. How do you top Pizza Ranch's legendary cheesy ranch sticks? Any way you want. Get a load of these. Our new loaded cheesy ranch sticks are now topped with an extra layer of flavor. Skillet crust, melty cheese, herbs and spices, and up to two of your favorite toppings. They're the ultimate appetizer on the buffet or on the go. Don't you just love that new menu item smell? Pizza Ranch, everyone's favorite buffet. Let's hit the road. The road to winning at Wild Rose Casino and Hotel Clinton, Iowa. You're just a short drive away from a weekend full of fun, food, and winning. Plenty of slots calling your name, table games too. Or watch and wager on the games in our DraftKings Sportsbook. There's something for everyone at Wild Rose Casino and Hotel Clinton. You'd rather be here. At DePaco, your health and happiness are as important to us as your financial well-being. So when retirement is on the horizon, we'll help ensure you're ready for your next adventure, providing you freedom to focus on what truly brings you joy. Well-being is the key to a life worth loving. So when you think about yours, remember that DePaco can help you 
Be well. When you pull up to someone's house, the first thing you see nowadays is their garage door. Let Precision's experienced designers come to your home and help you select the perfect door for your house. Precision is there to help. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. Google has fired 28 workers following a protest against the tech company's cloud computing contract with the Israeli government. The company says the workers' behavior was unacceptable and that physically impeding other employees' work and access to offices is a clear violation of Google's policies. In a statement, no tech for apartheid, the group behind the protests called the firings retaliatory. The FDA is investigating a link between a salmonella outbreak and Infinite Herbs organic fresh basil sold at Trader Joe's. The grocery chain has pulled the product from store shelves in 29 states. The CDC says at least 12 people were sickened in seven states, with one person requiring hospitalization. Customers who have the basil are warned not to eat it and to either throw it away or return it to Trader Joe's for a full refund. And Starbucks is taking new steps towards sustainability. This month, the mega coffee chain is debuting new cold drink cups that contain 20% less plastic than previous ones. Starbucks says the move is part of its commitment to cut its carbon, water, and waste footprints in half by 2030. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Carissa Lawson. Taking a look at the stock report at the noon hour, Dow up 205, NASDAQ down 214, and the S&P down 35. Well, our call for action volunteers are in the building taking your consumer complaints and taking action on your behalf. Volunteers are here every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can call for action at 608-270-2833 or submit a claim anytime at channel3000.com slash call for action. Up next, we are tracking your first worn forecast and your ag numbers. And then later on Live at 4, we will visit with comedian Kathy Griffin, who is performing in Madison this weekend. She's talking about the highs and lows of her life at 4. This spring semi-annual storewide sale is almost over at Ashley. Upgrade your sleep with a Tempur-Pedic mattress. Get $300 in free furniture, plus free delivery and 60-month special financing only at Ashley. What can our foam do for your home? Incredible comfort, no matter what the weather. Incredible savings, because your AC is going to run so much less. It even reduces outside noise and allergens. No matter what kind of cheap insulation you already have, our foam will go right over it. Incredible. And spring is the time for incredible deals. So we're matching the $1,200 tax credit with a $1,200 discount. USA Insulation. Thousands of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line. Many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes Initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. Help by visiting www.heatforheroes.org or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. This spring semi-annual store-wide sale is almost over at Ashley. Get the lowest prices on the latest styles. We're cleaning house and everything is on sale. And save even more on closeouts. Plus special financing for 60 months. Only at Ashley. So many amazing characters. Do you have a favorite? Saturday Night Live's Ego Wodum. It'd be like picking a favorite child. <laughs> then the power of a mother's love. His last wish was to help others have a wish. That's what you do. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. We warn you first. We have been talking for days about thunderstorm potential. That's next Tuesday, so make sure you're aware of that storm system as it moves on in. First, with the information you need to be prepared and stay safe. First, warn weather. 
The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. We're back at 1215. Time to check in with the Midwest Farm Reports. Pam Yonke. Hey, Pam. Hey, Shane. Yeah, you're right. Breezy still out there, but at least the sun's around. That's a good thing as we wrap off a trade week. Markets are up on the midday. We'll get to those numbers in just a moment. Big numbers from our Wisconsin cheesemakers and their annual Cheese Expo that was held earlier this month over in Milwaukee. Fantastic attendance. You know, this is one of those shows that really is coming back uh, full flavor with uh, attendance after the pandemic. They had to idle that because it is an international crowd, but boy, they're back and robust. In fact, they auctioned off some of the winners from the champion cheese event that took place at Monona Terrace earlier this year back in the month of March and wow did they get a lot of then $480 raised on those cheese -a bits that they sold off that is an $80,000 jump over their previous record. Now, the Wisconsin cheesemakers are going to use all of that money going towards offsetting some of the expenses for the cheese championship, but also making investments in the next generation of Wisconsin cheesemakers and upgrading the skills that, that we have with our current cheesemakers. So definitely an important event for the Wisconsin cheesemakers and the Wisconsin cheesemaking community. Congratulations on that record breaker. I don't think it's a record breaker, but boy, it is a healthy field of farms and homes across the state that will be recognized for their century or sesquicentennial milestone coming up during the Wisconsin State Fair. Just got the update from the Wisconsin State Fair staff. They tell me 71 farmstead and homes across the state have hit the century mark. 49 have hit the sesquicentennial mark, 150 years or more in the same family for that farmstead or homestead. Like I said, we'll be recognizing all of them at the Wisconsin State Fair. And my team here at Midwest Farm Report will be reaching out to a lot of those folks, capturing their stories and sharing them with you at MidwestFarmReport.com. Like I said, markets nice and robust today on the midday. Dairy markets also following suit. Barrel cheese up a nickel today at 166. 40 pound black cheese finishes the week seven cents stronger at 168. Double A butter just quiet at 292 a pound. Quiet. That would be a nice way to deal with the weather again this weekend. Uh, it doesn't look like we're necessarily going to get all that quiet, but like I said, when I came in, at least the sunshine's out there, Shane. It's sunny. At least that's uh, all we can ask for on a busy weekend. You going to the horse fair yeah. at all this weekend, Pam? My whole staff is out there right now. I've got to keep kind of the wheels on, but then I'll get out there later this afternoon. All right, enjoy. Have a good weekend. See you later. All right, we'll see you. Well, hey, speaking of the horse fair, the Dane County Sheriff's Office is telling Madison drivers to expect some delays this weekend. That's because the horse fair is back in town. So both east and westbound lanes of the Beltline, John Nolan, and Rimrock will be crowded. The fair takes place at the Alliant Energy Center starting today through Sunday. The heaviest traffic will probably be in the morning to noon. So you maybe missed that busy rush there, but keep that in mind. Also starting today, North Broom Street will be down to just one lane. Here's a look at that impacted area for you. Construction crews will be paving Broom between West Dayton and West Gorham. The city says work starts at 830. It started at 830 this morning. It will fully reopen coming up at 3. During those hours, West Dayton will be closed at North Broom, except for emergency vehicles. West Gorham and West Johnson will not be affected. All right, let's send things out to Kelly Slifka is on the weather patio with your first warm weather. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, good afternoon, Shane. It is a windy uh, noon hour, but we do have the uh, sunshine for now. I expect some clouds to uh, start to move in from the north as we go over the next couple of hours. So enjoy the sun while we have it. We do have these wind winds, though. We've had some of these wind gusts over 40 miles per hour, 44 right now in Platteville, 33 mile per hour gusts in Madison. It's almost 40 in Janesville. So a gusty noon hour and these winds will continue as we look at our actual wind speed. These are the sustained winds expected throughout the afternoon up there around 20, 25 miles per hour throughout the afternoon, really not going down until after the sun goes down. It still will be breezy even after dark. All right, why is it so windy? Well, we got the storm system that brought us the rain yesterday. That area of low pressure right now over Hudson Bay, Canada. Very strong areas of high pressure. One down to the south, one also coming down from Canada. And that pressure gradient is creating those winds. And that's why uh, we'll see some of these gusts over 35 miles per hour at times this afternoon. As you plan your night, as those winds uh, diminish and we clear out overnight, we do have a potential of seeing a freezing temperatures, at least for some, getting very close to 32. So if you did any kind of planting, you want to make sure you cover those plants because we are expecting possible freeze. Now, what is the last frost freeze date? Usually it occurs the first week of May. So we've still got a couple more weeks of at least having that opportunity of seeing a freeze. 
Uh, last year, our last freeze was on uh, April 26, but most years in the past several years were in the early parts of May. Otherwise, we are looking at some chilly conditions going into the uh, weekend. Possible freeze tonight with temperatures struggling to get up to a 50 tomorrow. And by uh, next week, by Monday night into Tuesday, we do have a chance of some rain moving in. It looks, looks like just some general showers expected by then. So I would say the weekend, the best day of the weekend is going to be Sunday. We see a little bit more cloud cover, still a little bit breezy tomorrow, struggling to get up to 50, a little bit closer to our average as we get up to a 58 on Sunday. So here's that cool air mass coming down from uh, Hudson Bay, Canada, right where that area of low pressure was. That'll be with us right through Saturday. That'll slide on to the east and bring us some milder conditions. We'll moderate our temperatures going into uh, next week. And actually may rise above average later next week as temperatures shoot up into the 60s. Otherwise, we'll look at some sunshine gradually giving way to a little bit more cloud cover as the afternoon wears on. Temperatures uh, in the low 50s here from Madison to the south may only be in the upper 40s where the clouds move in a little bit sooner to the north. And then as we go through the evening hours, the uh, clouds will depart. We'll get into clearing and really setting us up for a cold night. So we've got a chilly conditions the next couple of days. Of course, April can be fickle and that's what we're going to see cool the next couple of days. But it looks like as we uh, close out the month of April going into the first couple of days of May, we're expecting above average temperatures. Right now it's 48 in Madison, 52 in Janesville. We've got uh, 40s generally across the area. So we'll struggle to get in the low 50s over the next couple of hours before those clouds start to move on in. Uh, right now it's uh, 49 in Oregon. So 49 is all, all we're going to get up to tomorrow. Going to be a breezy day with some clouds popping up during the morning and afternoon hours. 58 more sunshine on Sunday. A milder day on Monday as we get up to 62 as some clouds move in. That'll produce some showers Monday night into Tuesday. Temperatures moderate later in the week into the following weekend. Another chance of some storms by Saturday and Sunday of next weekend. All right, Kelly, thank you very much. Up next, Howard is in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen with a recipe based on a meal familiar to all college students. If you ask any college student living on a budget what they eat when money is tight, most likely the answer will be ramen noodles. As a matter of fact, did you know that if you ate ramen noodles three times a day for an entire year, it would only cost you $250? And besides them being easy on our wallets, ramen noodles are becoming very trendy. So let me show you how to beef them up. We start by adding to a bowl of beef broth some soy sauce, a bit of honey, a decent amount of rice wine vinegar, sesame oil, brown sugar, chopped garlic, and some cornstarch. We give this a mix and set it aside. Then we saute some broccoli and onions and sesame oil until they're tender. To that, we add some strips of top round beef and let it cook for a few minutes. Meanwhile, we boil a couple of packages of ramen noodles, discarding the seasoning packets. All that's left to do is add our seasoned broth to the skillet, let it thicken, and once it does, stir in our noodles. If you didn't know otherwise, you'd probably think this was from some fancy Asian restaurant. After all, the veggies are crisp, the beef is super tender, and the noodles are cooked to perfection. To get the recipe for what we call beef and broccoli noodle toss, all you have to do is visit our website. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a noodleicious way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. That's mm -hmm. a lot of noodles. Mm -hmm. When we come back, the George Vitens Golf Academy shows us some tips when we're out on the course. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Right now, pet dander, skin cells, and dirt are settling deep into your carpet fibers. Stanley Steamer removes the dirt you see and the dirt you don't. Your carpets aren't clean until they're Stanley Steamer clean. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. Do you have both Medicare and Medicaid? If so, you may qualify for a dual eligible special needs plan from Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield with benefits and coverage for dental services or routine eye exams. Call now to explore plan options available in your zip code. Learn about the additional care, resources, and support you could have with an Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield dual special needs plan. Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield dual eligible special needs plans offer more benefits than you have access to with original Medicare alone. Additional benefits could help you save out-of-pocket costs. These benefits could include a healthy grocery allowance each month, 
transportation to plan approved medical appointments, or an annual allowance to spend on eyewear. Most of the Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield dual special needs plans have $0 monthly premiums, $0 copays, or $0 deductibles that can also help you save on out-of-pocket costs. If you have both Medicare and Medicaid, don't miss your chance to enroll in a dual special needs plan. Call today to see what plans with additional benefits may be available in your zip code. Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield dual special needs plans offer more than original Medicare, like annual allowances towards dental, vision, or hearing coverage. These plans offer even more benefits that may provide you with additional care and support. With a 24-7 nurse line, you could have access to a registered nurse to help answer your questions whenever you need. If you're in immediate need of a caregiver or emergency services, these Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield plans provide a personal emergency response system. Contact a caregiver or emergency services at the touch of a button. If you have both Medicare and Medicaid, don't miss your chance to enroll in a plan with more benefits than you may have with original Medicare alone. Call today to speak with a licensed agent and explore 2024 dual eligible special needs plans. The call is free and there's no obligation to enroll. Call 800-357-1385. 800-357-1385. That's 800-357-1385. Call now. Right now, pet dander, skin cells, mold spores, pollen, and dirt are being sucked into your air ducts. Get cleaner air in system efficiency now with Stanley Steamer. Your air ducts aren't clean until they're Stanley Steamer clean. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. If you're looking for a better way to better your golf game, the George Vitens Golf Academy is providing tips to help you lower that score. Here's Joel White showing us proper body rotation during your swing. In this lesson, I'm focusing on body rotation. Many golfers I see do not rotate properly or if at all. For example, they're swinging the club back and from the top here, they begin the forward swing with just swinging the arms. Nothing going on with the lower body and therefore pretty much staying flat footed. While that causes a variety of problems, one is the more I hang back on the right, it moves the bottom of my swing back. And that's when I'll end up hitting the ground first or hitting it fat. The other thing it can do is redirect the path of your arms so they go anywhere except at the target. So let's work on a little drill or exercise that can help you feel proper body rotation. Let's relate it to a throwing motion. I rotate throw that ball, end up stacked right over that front leg. Rotate with the arm swing, not finishing on your back foot, but on the front foot. I'm Joel Lines, PGA professional. Improve your play the fundamental way. All right, over to Kelly for a final check of that forecast. Yeah, enjoy the uh, sunshine while we have it because uh, we are starting to see some of the clouds, uh, even in Platteville, some of the clouds are starting to rotate on in. You can see on our visible satellite uh, up near La Crosse, Marshfield, seeing some of those clouds. Those are headed southbound, and we should see a little bit more of those cloud cover. Have to deal with the Wednesday. They'll be up out of the west and northwest up there at 15 to 25, some gusts up to 35 miles per hour, really not coming down until we get after sunset. And even then, it still will be breezy this evening. Uh, tomorrow, 49 only, a better day on Sunday with sunshine. 58 a little bit milder with a chance of showers Monday night into Tuesday. All right, Kelly, thank you very much, everyone. Have a nice weekend. We'll see you back here on Live at 4.